Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing 10 things that I think every woman should have or do or, or own by age 30. I have no idea why I'm filming this video. It was just an idea that popped into my head and I made a little list. I think these things, some of them are things, some of them are um, just accomplishments that I think are, are really great to work towards by age 30. I'm 32, in case you were wondering. 30 is just a, a great number. Um, I feel like you're you're experienced, but yeah, you still, have, you still have a ways to go. We're gonna be all over my house. Some of these items are in my closet. Some are random things throughout my house, but very essential at the same time. So I hope Hope you enjoyed this video and if you happen to be new consider subscribing down below and also consider following me on Facebook and Instagram as well uh, I, I know I mentioned a while back that I created a Facebook page and that is up and running I post very random personal things on that so that's fun and then Instagram is just great who doesn't love Instagram probably a lot of you but I personally really like it so anyway enough of the socials out of the way uh, let's get started with the very first item or thing I forget what it is it's important though. Okay, so we're starting off in my kitchen because this is actually where you find this item most of the time. And it's a good everyday go-to bag that you can rely on. Mm. So, if you know me at all, you guys know how much of a handbag lover I am. I love them in all shapes and sizes and colors. However, I think it's just so Great to buy by 30, you just know what you like. So I'm going to be doing a full review on this bag and all of my 2019 uh, luxury purchases. Maybe luxury is not your thing, which is fine. But when it comes to bags, I do like to splurge. So I've been loving this. I just think that once you figure out what kind of bag you personally really like, I don't think it's a bad idea to splurge on a fabulous quality one. I just think by 30, you deserve it. You know what I mean? I think this is a great one. This is a Louis Vuitton uh, V-Tote, monogram V-Tote. Really, really like it. That leads me to my number two point, and all of these things are not items. This fits with my channel, so I just put these two points first. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is every woman should figure out what kind of wallet they love. And I, over the course of my years, I have figured out that I really, really like a mini wallet. So I have several that I love, but I wanted to actually show you this one because I mentioned it in the men's gift guide this year. So I filmed that like almost a month ago. And this originally, it was for Josh. This is the Exter wallet. I love, I took, I stole it. I love it. I've been wearing it or using it for the last month. Let me move this out of the way. I cannot tell you how cool this wallet is. This is a mini wallet. It, it doesn't hold coins, but it's great for people that do like to change out of different handbags. So I love my big everyday bag, but I also love crossbodies and mini bags, and this fits into everything. So even though this is probably marketed more towards men, maybe, I don't even know if that's true. I think it's amazing for women because it fits cards so well. Now there's something different about this card holder. You actually just hit this button and, <gasps> It magically fans out the cards, okay? It holds up to 10 different cards. I have five here, I have some here, and then there's also a slot right here. So it holds so many cards. It also has a, uh, a little strap here for cash. And it's so easy to see what card you need. You literally just pull it out and be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay. You stick it back in in any order, push them down, but, and then next time you're ready to make another purchase or you need a card, you literally just hit the button again and it fans them up. It is just the coolest card thing ever. It comes in so many colors, um, so many different types of leather. I love this, it's like a cognac color, and I've just been wearing it and carrying it every day in so many of my bags. So figure out a wallet that you like. Maybe it's an oversized one, which is totally fine, but this is my favorite right now. Um, but let's move on to number three. By age 30, you finally need a good bed and comfy sheets. So this is the first year that I actually didn't talk about these glorious sheets on my gift guide for women. I talk about it every year and I feel like it's overkill. So I'm just gonna mention them in this video because I feel like they've changed my life. These are amazing, amazing, soft, soft sheets. I definitely like my silk sheets. I love that in the summer, kind of keeps me cool. These just, I, I honestly love year round, even in the summer, um, but especially in the winter, it's so warm and cozy. You can even just see, it's almost like a blanket material, but my husband loves them as well. He doesn't think they're too hot or anything, but can you even just see like how incredibly soft these sheets are? I think by 30, you need a comfortable bed that you love and warm, 
cozy sheets. There's just, there's just something amazing about it. So the next totally random thing that every woman should have by age 30, if not sooner, is a fire extinguisher. I feel like this is one of those items that's just often forgotten uh, until you really need it and then you don't have it. So thanks mom for buying this for me. I now keep it here in my very unorganized pantry, but it is here ready for me when I have any kitchen emergency or really any fire emergency at all. So I can link one down below if you don't have one yourself. It's essential. Ah, uh, so I'm just now realizing that I don't actually know how to use a fire extinguisher. Uh, so not only should you have one by age 30, but you should learn how to use it <laughs> by age 30. I I'm a bit behind. Next, we have a good old passport. Yes, believe it or not, there are so many people out there that don't have a passport because it is kind of a pain to go and get one. So I have mine here and I actually showed this passport cover in a recent video. It, I believe it's from Amazon. It's super inexpensive. I can link it below. It is so nice, guys. It's like marbly patterned, obviously. And then inside you just stick your passport and it protects it. But then what's so nice about it is you can put credit cards, you could put like a Metro card. Like there's so many little things or receipts or whatever that you can stick uh, along here. And then this just be like your little travel companion. So I highly recommend this, but just pass Passports in general. I know some people don't love traveling and others really, really enjoy it. But if you haven't traveled in a while or maybe haven't gotten out of the country in a long time or ever, I just really, really recommend that you just do it and give it a try because I feel like it's so enlightening um, and maybe for reasons you might not expect. It's just, I feel like we have a tendency to kind of get stuck in our own little bubble, our own little town. But then when we go out and we see the world, we see good things, we see bad things, we see how many people in the world there are and how many real issues there are and how, am how many amazing things there are. So um, I don't no, I just always get back from a trip feeling enlightened is just the word that comes to my mind. I probably should come up with a different one, but look at it outside. I mean, sometimes you also just wanna escape the weather. It is cold, it's like 17 degrees out here and I'm just really wanting warm weather. So uh, maybe the passport can take me there. So apply for one. Hey. So the reason I'm down here and have the camera angle pointed down is because I think every woman by age 30 should have the most perfect pair of denim jeans. And I don't know what to do with this hand. But these are my perfect pair. They are the Levi Wedgie Icon Fit Jeans. They are best-selling, everybody raves about them, and I didn't know why until I finally purchased them. They just fit so well, they're so comfy. They're slightly high rise just a bit, but they're not too tight along the leg. And they come in so many different washes and colors and distresses. But if you haven't found your perfect pair of jeans yet, you should try because who doesn't love a perfect pair of go-to blue jeans, you know? Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just admiring my steamer, which is the next thing that I think every 30 year old should have. No longer do I need to iron anything. I steam it all. It's amazing. I, I know that I've said this uh, many times on my channel before. I, I apologize for the repeat, but oh, this is this is one of those things that I just think everyone needs. Um, it's it's life changing, and uh, by thirty, you should acquire one, a professional one at that. So the next thing that I really encourage you guys to do, or at least have kind of figured out by age thirty, and if if not, that's okay because. It took me a really long time, um, but that is a type of exercise that you are passionate about. I, I know I've said on my channel for so long how you know, getting your body moving and your heart pumping is so important, but I suck at doing it and that's still the truth. However, I finally figured out a way for me to do it that I don't mind doing it and it's so good for your body. So maybe that's exercising, like running. I don't I don't know why you would like running, but some people enjoy it. Or maybe it's Zumba, like, you know, dancing, doing that kind of a thing. But for me, I have finally figured out that I really enjoy doing quick little spurts of exercise on YouTube. 
I mean, it makes sense. I'm a YouTuber and I like pulling up random exercises. I do like 10, 15 minutes just in my living room. And I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's like I can change it to be, you know, whatever I want that day. And there's so many amazing exercise routines on YouTube. So I finally figured out a way that I'm kind of passionate about it and it kind of doesn't make me dread it. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Maybe join a gym, maybe go dancing, do something to get your heart rate pumping. So by age 30, I think it's really important to have a retirement retirement account set up. I know all throughout people's 20s, that's the last thing on their mind. They, they don't want to be contributing to their retirement. They want to be buying a house, starting a family, doing anything other than thinking about their retirement uh, because it's so far down the line. But the thing is, once you actually do get to the age of retirement, you have a lot of years left before you die. So you need to plan for that. You need to plan for uh, yourself to stop working, hopefully, eventually. So if you haven't done this already, maybe you're past 30, that's okay. You can start now. I, I encourage you to get on the computer, do a little research, get a financial advisor if you don't have one already and they can you know, help lead you down the path that's best for you. Okay, so we're back down here. Uh, this next point is one of those crucial points where you're like, wow, Shay, that is such a good idea. I'm gonna do that. But will you actually do it? No. But 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 you need to do it, okay? This is this is something we should just all do, and that is have a bucket list. So if you don't know what a bucket list is, it's when you write things down that you want to accomplish or do by a certain age or just maybe sometime throughout your life. And a lot of people love the idea of it, but they don't actually make one. So we're gonna do that. I, I want you to actually get a book or just a special piece of paper, something where you can actually write it down and visually see it. And it can be, you know, maybe something to work towards by age 30. You know, this video is all about accomplishing things by age 30, uh, but maybe you're beyond that. It could be by age 40 or 50 or just sometime in your life. But actually seeing things written down to accomplish in your life gets our brain working on how we're gonna do it. And maybe it's taking your passport and actually traveling somewhere, or maybe it's accomplishing something big at work. It could be literally anything and it could be multiple things. It could be 10 or 15 different things that you you want to accomplish. It's really motivational and I highly encourage you guys to actually do it. So that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and anything that I specifically talked about that you might be interested in, I can link down below. But I hope this gave you a little inspiration, just some, some things that you might wanna consider or maybe work towards. So thank you again and I'll link some other videos if you wanna check them out on my channel here. And I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.